Hi everybody, I'm Billy and in this video we're going to have a look at High Rising Terminal, HRT. What is it? It sounds very technical. Now, it is a pattern of intonation. It is a feature of some varieties of spoken English, but only some. And really, it describes a rising intonation in statements. Now, you might remember that statements have a falling intonation in English, usually. So, high rising terminal means that here the speaker uses a rising intonation in statements. With a certain effect, of course, because suddenly those statements might sound a little bit uncertain and more like questions. Remember, yes, no questions, they do have a rising intonation in English. And so if you use that intonation pattern in statements, the statement might suddenly sound more like a question. Now, there are many terms to describe this rising intonation in statements. High rising terminal is only one of the terms. Let's have a look at some more common terms. First of all, high rising intonation. Now, this is very similar to high rising terminal. Often people also call it upspeak, up talk, this is a very common term, or even upward inflection. All of those terms describe the same, a rising intonation in statements. There are two more terms that we will be looking at later on that also really describe high rising terminal. Now, Let's look at some examples first, so you can really hear what this sounds like. Let's stay connected. I'm Billy English. You can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at the Billy English. I'll be posting Tuesdays and Saturdays new videos on pronunciation, vocabulary and Cambridge speaking exams. But of course, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm always posting every Wednesday a full-length video with a premiere and a live chat where you can meet me and ask questions and you can also follow me on Facebook at The Billy English. Here we have a question. It is a simple statement. I live in Spain. Normally said, this has a falling intonation, the sentence. It is a statement. It states a fact. Let's listen. I live in Spain. I live in Spain. Hopefully you were able to hear this falling intonation. Let's now hear this said with high rising terminal intonation. I live in Spain. I live in Spain. There is a rising intonation at the end of this statement. This is a bit unusual and that is exactly what high rising terminal is all about. Rising intonation in a statement. Let's have a look at some more examples. Imagine you are at Starbucks. You have just ordered a coffee. Normally the barista will ask you for your name to write it on the cup. So he or she might say, what's your name? And you answer with your name. Now, usually I would just say Billy and there's a falling intonation. But if I were to speak with high rising terminal, it might sound like this. What's your name? Billy? Billy? It sounds more like I'm asking the barista if that is my name. That would be a high rising terminal intonation. Billy? It sounds a bit more like a question. Here is another example. Imagine your friend asks you about your weekend. What did you do yesterday? And you answer I went to the beach, I went to the beach. There is a rising intonation here and this is exactly 
HRT, high rising terminal. Normally, you would have a falling intonation here, of course. I went to the beach. But with HRT, it is, I went to the beach. It almost sounds like you want to add some more information. Here is another example. Imagine somebody asks you for directions. A stranger on the street stops you and asks, excuse me, where's the museum? And you, of course, polite person that you are, are going to help them find their way and you give directions. Now, again, I'm going to give these direction using high rising terminal intonation. Turn left, go straight on, and on the right hand side is the museum. There is a rising intonation at the end of each short utterance. Usually there would be a falling intonation. Turn left, go straight on, and on the right hand side is the museum. But with HRT, you have a rise at the end. Now, this sounds a little bit unusual, doesn't it? It sounds a bit strange. To my ears, it sounds a bit strange. This is not a common intonation pattern in Britain at all. <laughs> and I personally wouldn't really use this pattern. So the question is, who uses HRT? Who speaks like that? Now, in general, we could say it tends to be more younger people. Now, of course, this is not a rule. It's just a generalization. It tends to be more younger people. And it also seems to be more popular amongst women compared to men. But you will find men who also use HRT. Now, it is used in some parts of the US and Australia. And that brings me now to the two other terms to describe high rising terminal. Now, the question is, is this the same as Australian questioning intonation, also called AQI? And the answer is yes, exactly. So this is a very common intonation pattern in Australia. And because this is such a big group of people, and here you will definitely also find men speaking like this and not just younger people. So because this is such a big group, they have their own name to describe this intonation pattern. And here it is called Australian Questioning Intonation, or in short, AQI. However, it does describe exactly the same thing. It means saying statements with a rising intonation, so they sound a little bit to us like questions. Now, of course, there will also be an Australian accent added. So when I read my examples, does that mean I sound like an Australian? No, of course not. I do not have an Australian accent. So you need to combine the high rising terminal with an Australian accent. And that would then really give you Australian questioning intonation. Now, if you want to hear some examples of AQI, I have a little tip for you. You can simply watch sports interviews, for example, with the Australian cricket team. If you watch any interview with the players, you will hear AQI in action. I also remember Danny Minogue on the X Factor panel when she was still a judge. She was a perfect example of using of someone who uses AQI. So you can probably find a few clips of her on YouTube as well or of any other Australians. A lot of them really display that kind of intonation pattern. Now, what about the Valley Girl talk? That is another example of HRT. So again, here, Valley Girl Talk also has a typical rising intonation at the end of statements. 
But again, here, of course, you need to combine this with a US accent. And it's quite a specific accent. Remember, of course, America is very, very big. The US are a huge country and there are lots of different accents. This is a little bit more prevalent in California, but you can find it also in other regions. Here, definitely the group of people who speak with this are mostly younger women, not only, but in general. Now, again, if you would like to hear an example, I have added some links in the description box below, box below to other videos on YouTube where you can hear some examples of Valley Girl Talk. It's quite amusing, I think. It's quite a specific way of talking. So make sure to check them out. Now, there are some extra features that are added to the Valley Girl Talk accent, if you want to call it that. And those are the excessive use of certain words, words like like, totally, awesome, whatever, or duh. You can hear the sounds already a little bit funny. So those words are often added at any sort of moment in the utterance. Um, and this is quite a specific feature. Now that alone does not have anything to do with intonation. So don't get muddled up. It's just that Valley Girl Talk is a combination of a specific kind of accent plus excessive use of these words and a rising intonation, this up talk at the end of little utterances and statements. All of that together will produce a Valley Girl accent. Now, of course, I'm sure you're really keen on hearing an example, so make sure to check out those video links below. But if you would just, um, you know, wanted to hear one example, it would probably sound like, like totally. And there's always this rise at the end. But check out the other examples that I've linked below. Now, I told you already about the example videos. If you know of any other example videos, then do please leave a comment below with a link to it. I'm sure all the other viewers will be very happy. Now, a few notes to summarize this video. So be careful because of course, if you were to use this kind of intonation pattern, it might make you sound a little bit less certain. Why? Well, because usually a rising intonation indicates a question or uncertainty. So even if you don't plan to be uncertain or you are not uncertain, you might sound uncertain to the listener. Now, another thing to remember is that unfortunately, people judge you by the way you speak. I know this is not kind or nice or just or fair, but it is a fact that many people do judge you by the way you speak. Now, know your context. High rising terminal using this up talk when you speak in English is not always popular. It depends a little bit on your context. So I think remember who you talk to, who are your listeners? What intonation pattern do they use? Is this something that they use themselves? Well, in that case, it wouldn't be a problem if you speak like that. However, if this is not a common intonation pattern amongst your listeners, you might not want to use it. So some people think HRT is really trendy and hip. I would say those are mostly younger people. However, there are also some people who think this is quite an annoying intonation pattern and they would also think it is a little bit unprofessional. If you go for a job interview, my tip would be don't really use that kind of intonation pattern. But that is my personal opinion. Now, my tip is know your context, know your listeners. Observe how the people around you speak and the people that you communicate with and then follow their pattern. If in doubt, use a falling intonation pattern. That really cannot be wrong. 
A falling intonation pattern in statements is always fine, is always accepted, it will make you sound quite certain, there's nothing ever wrong with that. Whereas with a rising intonation, you could get it wrong. That is my personal opinion. Those are my tips. You might not agree with me. You might love the Valley Girl talk or Australian questioning intonation. I do love the Australian accent, but of course I don't live in Australia. I don't really prepare learners to emigrate to Australia, so I prepare them more for the European um, areas or maybe for the US. So I think for my students, I would always say falling intonation is a little bit safer here. Now, but my question to you is, do you like this kind of intonation pattern, the high rising terminal? And do you know anyone who speaks like that? Maybe a celebrity that you follow. And um, do you like the way they speak? Do you sometimes try to imitate their talk? What is your opinion on HRT? Write it in the comment section below. I'm really curious to hear what you think.